Hi, Susan Sweeney here, and today I'm going to talk with you about what to look for in a web developer. You know, things have changed quite a bit over the last few years in web development, and it's very important to make sure that you've got a really good web developer, one who's going to build you the right website and a site that's going to last for you for quite some time into the future. Back in the olden days, and of course the olden days in terms of internet was probably three years ago, uh, back in the olden days we had a lot of web developers who would say, you know, when you went to them to ask them to build a website, they'd say, look, don't worry about it, just I've built tons of websites in my time, just leave it with me and I'll take care of everything. I'll build a website and then you let me know what you want to have changed. Well, you know, that never worked. Uh, it didn't work then, it doesn't work now, it, uh, it never should have worked. Choosing a web developer, you know, you go through the same process as choosing somebody to build a house for you. You'd never go to a builder and say, would you build me a house? And have them say, uh, don't worry about it, I'll build it. I've built hundreds of houses and uh, let me build it and then you let me know what you want to have changed. So you show up four months later and there's a two-story where you wanted a bungalow and, uh, you know, the, they've got a living room and a, and a family room. You just wanted one great room and you wanted it on the other side of the house. You wanted to have your laundry room um, with the bedrooms and, of course, it's now in the basement. So, I mean, it just never would make sense to build a house that way. It doesn't make sense to have a web developer build you a website that they think is right for you uh, without you being involved in the process. So... In finding the web developer, you really have to find someone who you're going to be able to work with, somebody that you're going to have some good discussion around what your objectives are for this website and who your target market is. I mean, if the web developer doesn't involve you in the process, doesn't involve you in uh, identifying those very important critical things that your website is built around, they're not the right web developer. So, to start off with, the web developer should engage you in some great conversation. They might even have a questionnaire that they'll ask you to fill out. And they're going to ask some very important questions. They're going to ask you about um, why you're building this website and who it's going to be built for and what you want people to do when they come to visit the website. So, it's going to be built around your objectives and your target markets and your products and services. And so, the web developer should engage you in that conversation and in that process. Now, also, the web developer should be asking about who your biggest competitors are and uh, doing some research on not only your local competition, but also what the leaders in the industry are doing, what the trends are, uh, what, the, um, what the latest elements that they're including on the website um, in, in your industry to make sure that you're keeping up with consumers' expectations, you're actually exceeding consumers' expectations. Now, the web developer is going to ask a number of very important things. One thing that always, to me, is very important is that they should be asking things about what phrases would somebody search on if they're looking for you on the web. Because if they don't ask those types of questions, if they don't do the research on the appropriate phrases and keywords that need to be incorporated throughout your site for the search engines, then your site is not going to be search engine friendly. And although it's very important uh, and or you're able to optimize your site for the search engines after the fact, it's a whole lot better, it's a whole lot easier, it's a whole lot more cost effective to have your site designed to be search engine friendly from the get-go. So you really need to take a look at um, how this web developer interacts with you from the very beginning. The questions that they ask to make sure that the site is going to be designed around your objectives, your target markets, that it's going to beat the competition, that it's going to be search engine friendly. You also want to talk with this web developer about um, generating traffic. And some firms have, some web development firms have a full service agency where they not only build the website, but they also develop the campaigns and work with you on generating as targeted traffic to your website. There are some web development uh, agencies that what they do is they build the website and that's it, they're done. And until you go back to them and say that you want to have uh, updates or changes and things like that, um, they just leave you alone. But there are other agencies, web developers, that they look at you for the long term and they want to be involved not only in the development of the website, but they also want to make sure that you're going to be successful. They're involved with you in generating traffic to the website, in developing the campaigns for the site, making sure that you are changing the content on your site on a regular basis because they know that it's important to change that content for visitors to keep them coming back because they know that there's fresh new content. 
They also know that changing content plays into your search engine optimization because as you change the content, that gives you extra points with the search engines. So there are all kinds of things that come into play in looking at a web developer. Very important as well, go and take a look at sites that this web developer has built recently. What you want to do is take a look at the graphic design of those sites. Does it grab your attention? Is it a site that you would want to go back and visit uh, on a regular basis? Is it a site that would draw you in? Uh, is, does it look like a site that's using all the latest technologies? Is it a site that you would think would be absolutely fantastic? Go and take a look at the sites that this web developer has built recently. And I say recently because if it's a site that they built 10 years ago that the client didn't ask them to update, um, then that's really not fair to take a look at a 10-year-old site. But take a look at the site that they've done recently, not only in your industry, but other industries as well. And then also, for the sites that they have built, think about what keyword phrases would you search on in the search engine to find that particular company? Go in and do a search in Google or Yahoo and find out how high that site ranks with the search results because then you'll know if they know what to do uh, in terms of designing the site to be search engine friendly. Those are just a few techniques and a few things that I think that you should consider when you're looking at any web developer. Hope that helps.